Your dog's health is so important. You go to the vet regularly for checkups and booster shots. You've read up on all the latest do's and don'ts, but one thing often goes overlooked. Allergies. It's a common thing in people and in animals, but because our dog can't tell us, it can get missed even by the best of us. But fear not, today we'll be taking a look at common allergies in the Boston Terrier, so that you know exactly what you've got to look out for. Welcome back to the Fenrir Boston Terrier Show. My name's Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about Boston Terriers. Then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise perfect terriers. So if you're a lifelong Boston Terrier lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new pup, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Boston Terrier video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll uncover the most common allergies for the Boston Terrier. Before we dive too deeply into the Boston Terrier specifically, we need to understand what causes allergies. Allergies are caused by the body's immune system reacting to something in the environment. Normally things like pollen, dust, mites and other normal everyday things don't bother the body, but in some animals they do. This causes the body to react to whatever the substance is in the same way it would to bacteria or another infection. It causes the site to become swollen, red and itchy. We aren't quite sure what causes allergic reactions, but we've learned to identify them by their symptoms and can treat them to make them more tolerable. So what do we need to look out for with the Boston Terrier? The most common type of allergy for this breed is skin allergies. Normally allergens such as pollen, mold or dander will cause a human to sneeze. In dogs, these same allergens cause their skin to break out. These dogs are prone to having seasonal allergies from pollen and grasses and they may also have a reaction to dust mites, ticks and even fleas. It's also possible that they have a mold allergy or reaction to some household cleaners. It's so important to make sure you keep an eye on your dog when trying anything new. Signs of skin allergies may include excessive paw licking, rubbing at the face, chewing on the legs and rump, redness, excessive scratching and hives. Thankfully there are treatment options to help get your dog through allergy season or to control their allergies until you find the cause. Your vet can recommend medications, shampoos and creams to alleviate symptoms but there are also things you can do at home to make sure your pooch stays healthy. Vacuuming and mopping regularly will help to reduce the amount of dust and other irritants in your home such as pollen. You can make sure your cleaning products are pet friendly or free of harsh chemicals and perhaps most importantly you can ensure your dog has proper flea and tick preventative treatments. Boston Terriers are also known for their food allergies, they're much more sensitive than other dog breeds when it comes to their meals. Corn and soy are at the top offenders of their breed but you should also be on the lookout for gluten and certain food additives. It can be hard to determine when allergies are caused by food, but once again, there are signs you can look out for. A dog may become itchy, have indigestion or even vomit. Though this is thankfully the least common type of allergy among dogs, even if some breeds are more prone. You should always talk to your vet if you think something may be causing allergies, as a vet will be able to help narrow down the causes and offer some solutions. Though it can be difficult to pinpoint your dog's food allergies, even with professional help. Your vet will be able to recommend you a plan and food to help get your dog feeling better and will also help you with the slow process of reintroducing foods into their diet to keep an eye out for allergies. Generally, a dog will be on a new food for eight weeks before reintroduction begins. This allows time for the body not only to adjust to the new food, but for you to make sure they aren't having an issue with their new diet as well. You'll also want to make sure there's nothing that will irritate a Boston Terrier's sensitive skin in your grooming routine. A brush with improper bristles may irritate sensitive skin and shampoos with certain ingredients may cause an allergic reaction. For these reasons, it's important to make sure you have an appropriate brush or grooming mitt and that you double check the ingredients list on your dog's shampoo. Human shampoo should never be used to bath a dog. There are plenty of animal specific shampoos out there that are over the counter and you can get prescription shampoos from your vet. It's even possible to look into hypoallergenic shampoos when necessary. So to recap, Boston Terriers are prone to allergies, namely skin allergies. These dogs are known to suffer from seasonal allergies caused by pollen and grasses, but are also prone to flea allergies. Food allergies are also something to be on the lookout for, as these dogs can have corn and soy sensitivities. 
And last but not least, they may also have reactions to certain food additives and other chemicals. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below, and don't forget, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe as we have three dedicated Boston Terrier videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Boston Terrier Show.